past 7 a.m. on Thursday morning. So we're nearly at the end of July now, 30th of July. It's amazing how fast time has just flown by this year. So we are here for another 7 a.m. early morning Qigong set. Thank you again for joining us and I hope you really enjoy this session. Okay, so to begin, turn one foot 45 degrees to the corner, soften the foot and sinking down through the leg. So you're softening your foot, your ankle, your knee, your hip. Let the tailbone tuck under, shoulders come to rest over the hips, chin tucked in very gently to create an opening in the neck and then head suspended from the ceiling. The other foot just rests on the floor and rocks back and forth. And then sort to the other side. Same again, opening the foot, ankle, knee, hip, tailbone drops, shoulders resting comfortably over the hips, chin pulled back very gently to open up the neck, suspended, suspend the head. Then pick up the foot, shake off the ankle, and swap to the other side. Then pick up the knee as high as you can. Now, you don't have to get your knee up there, you can be lower if you need to, but if the higher you can, the more you'll sort of work on your balance. And then just circle the foot gently around. the other way and change pick up the knee circling the foot back the other way And change. So feet together, circling the knees. And back the other way. And come up. Finding your shoulder width. So feet together, turn at the toes, turn at the heels. And then we're just going to find our alignments through the body. So, softening the feet, softening the ankles, softening the knees, softening the hips, let the tailbone drop. So it's as though you're sitting down on a stool. The harder you want to work with these, the lower you sink into your hips and bend the thighs, but the knees stay over the toes, so you're not pushing them too far forward. Okay, it's actually work done by dropping the thighs down, the hips, the tailbone drops, the pelvis levels, and that sinks you down into the ground. It also increases pressure on heart and lungs by where it becomes more of an aerobic exercise. Then by dropping the tailbone, you're opening up the lower back. Then elongate the spine, so you stretch yourself out, stretch the spine out, not sort of pushing up with tension, but just allow the spine just to open and the shoulders to come and rest over the hips. Softening the shoulder joints. Let the chin just tuck in very gently, so you're opening up your neck, releasing any tension in the neck and then lifting the head so it's as though you're suspended from the ceiling by the top of your head. Just give yourself a few seconds just to breathe into the belly. Sinking down, all the bones floating in space, muscles release and sink.
relaxing the chest. Release the diaphragm. As you breathe in, let the belly just open up. And as you breathe out, let the belly close down. Soften and breathe. Let the mind soften. And if you can, just let your awareness trickle down into your belly. Just point three fingers width roughly below your tummy button. But then it's back inside the body cavity itself. And softening the shoulders, the upper arms, opening the elbows, softening the forearms, opening the wrists. Emptying the hands. Let the arms just hang, slightly stretched out because the hands are now heavy. And try and get your weight to be evenly spaced on both feet, going straight down through the legs. We start, breathe in, let the hands come up the centre line. Keep the chest tight, they turn over and just come up over the head. And breathe out, circling the hands down. Breathing in. Let the body open. And breathe out. Sink. Really soften the shoulders, sitting back against the spine, into the pelvis. Let the tailbone tuck under. Softening the shoulders.
One more. And then let the hands come up the centre line to the chest. Turn the palms, breathe out, let the hands float down and come to rest by the sides. Just take a moment to reconnect, softening the feet, the ankles, the knees, the hips, let the tailbone drop as though you're sitting down on a stool. Opening up the pelvis, levelling the pelvis, opening up the lower back, stretching out the spine gently, just to open up all the vertebrae and make sure you're standing upright. Shoulders come back to rest comfortably over the hips, so you're opening up the internal spaces of the body cavities. And the chin tucks in very gently, so you're lifting the back of the neck. And opening the neck, then you want to empty the neck. And you're suspended from the top of your head. Lift the head to raise the spirit. Again, softening down through the whole body. Let the breathing return to the belly. mind sink down into the belly. Breathing in, bring the hands up the centre line. And at chest height, breathe out, left hand floats up, right hand pushes down. And breathe in, turn the palms, bring them back to the centre. And breathe out, swap the hands so the left hand now pushes down, right hand floats up. In and breathe out and keep going all the time, softening down through the body. Sitting back against the spine into the pelvis. Speed of the movement is dictated by the length of your own breath. So work with your body on this.
2번 뭐 And it's going back to this chest. Both palms to the floor, breathe out, push down. Again, just reconnect, so softening the feet, ankles, knees, hips, tailbone tucked under, shoulders resting comfortably over the hips, chin tucked in create the opening of the neck, head suspended in space. Bones floating upright and muscles release, expand and relax and sink. Just look for any resistance that you might have in your body and just allow the body to move to try and let that go. This is not something that's forced, it's something that happens over time. As you ask your body to release and relax, it starts to get more of the idea. try and force it, all you'll do is get resistance. Turn your breathing to your belly, so opening the belly up as you breathe in, closing down as you breathe out. Again, this is not forced. Just relax into it. Let your mind trickle down into the belly now. Softening down through the feet. And sitting back against the spine into the pelvis. Just start to turn the waist. Coming back to the center. So you're rotating around your spine. Turning the waist. Softening down through the legs so you're not twisting in through the knees. The shoulders are moving because the waist is turning so you're not actually tw twisting your body, you're just turning. Let your breathing just fall into a regular pattern that works for you. And as you turn, re-release the shoulders, the upper arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, and empty the hands. Now that arms are completely released, as you turn, just let them swing. So you can speed up the turning. Again, don't lean to either side, just turning around the spine, turning the waist, and the arms just swing. Like a piece of rope in the hands, you'll wait on the end. softening the shoulder blades, releasing the muscles down the spine. Tailbone dropped, sitting down, so you're sitting on a stool. Keep your chin tucked in, elongating the up, the neck and the spine. Raising the head, head suspended from the top of your head. Really work on just letting all the muscles go now. Release, expand, sink.
going to change the motion slightly. So let the hands just swing more out to the side. So one swings in front, one behind as you turn. Now, try not to let your arms flap <laughs> as though you're a bird. You're actually moving the arms or rotating them, transferring momentum from the rotation of the waist up through the spine and out through the shoulders to the fingertips. Again, really release the shoulders. Change, just come to rest. Again, reconnecting with the feet, the ankles, knees, the hips, so softening all those joints all the way down through the leg on both sides. So your weight is evenly spaced on the soles of both feet. Let the tailbone drop although you're sitting down, leveling the pelvis, opening up the lower back, your spine elongates to create a stretch, shoulders come back to rest comfortably over the hips, chin tucked in to open up the neck, head suspended, so raise the head to raise the spirit, and then just let all the bones float in space, let the muscles release, expand and sink. Breathing back into the belly, let the mind trickle down into the belly. And breathing in, palms to the floor and bring your hands forward. Drop the fingertips, raise the arms to shoulder height. And drop the elbows, drop the wrists and down as though you're pushing through water. Breathing in, opening up, hands come forward. Breathing out, closing down, hands float down. Do this sitting back against the spine into the pelvis.
change, so just circle the fingers round to the right. Right hand in front of your face, let the left hand circle down. Both palms come facing the floor, holding a ball in your centre. Again, soften the feet, the ankles, the knees, the hips. Tailbone drops, lower back opens, spine elongates, shoulders resting comfortably over the hips, chin tucked in, head suspended. Arms nice and relaxed and released. So take a breath in, just opening up the belly. Breathe out, close the belly as you turn your waist to the right. Breathe in, opening up the belly as you swap the hands. And breathe out, turn over the left side, closing down, breathing in. And breathe out, again sitting back against the spine into the pelvis. Sitting down on the stool, rotating around your spine using the waist. One more. And then as you square the hips, let the lower hand circle up so that both hands end up at the chest. Take a breath in. Breathe out, push down, let the hands come to rest by the sides. And then we're going to close the hands over the belly. So put the knuckle of the thumb in the tummy button, the palm rests down. The other hand comes in flat over the top. Left hand under right for men, right hand under left for ladies. And then just softening down through the body, opening the feet, softening the ankles, opening the knees. the hips, let the tailbone tuck under, lower back opens, spine elongates, shoulders resting comfortably over the hips, chin tucked in gently to create stretch in the spine, head suspended from space, all the bones floating upright, and sit back against the spine into the pelvis, sitting down on your stool and let all the muscles expand, release and sink. Opening up the belly as you breathe in and closing down as you breathe out. Let the mind trickle back down to the belly and just breathe.
and change. Let the hands come to rest by the sides. Then breathe in, just come up onto the toes. And as you breathe out, let your body drop. Again. Keep going. One more. And relax. Thank you so much for joining me again this morning. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, as always, if you have any comments or you would like to share any feedback or ask any questions, please post them in the comments below. That would be absolutely fantastic. It's always great to get feedback on all of this stuff. And I will be back tomorrow morning at seven o'clock for another one of these and i hope to see you in the next one take care and have a really great day